The Egyptian Air Force EAF, is the aviation branch of the Egyptian Armed Forces. Higher and higher for the sake of glory, is the motto of Egyptian Air Force. Founded in 1932 and is responsible for all airborne defense missions and operates all military aircraft, including those used in support of the Egyptian Army, Egyptian Navy and the Egyptian Air Defense Forces. EAF currently operates 5 Su-35, 44 MiG-29, 75 Mirage 5, 19 Mirage 2000, 24 Rafale and 218 F-16. There are 21 Su-35 on order. This is around 365 fighter aircrafts. 75 Mirage 5 will need replacement in near future. JF-17 can be the frontline fighter replacing Mirages in Egyptian Air Force. JF-17 can perform air supremacy, interception, aerial reconnaissance, ground support, in-depth strike, anti-ship strike missions and aerial reconnaissance. In 2015 reports surfaced about Egyptian interest in purchasing the JF-17 Thunder fighter. That is around 75 JF-17 Thunder Block 3 to possibly replace 75 Mirage 5. There are two main reasons the JF-17 appeals to developing nations. First reason, JF-17 offers the best value for money, being one of the most cost-effective of the modern fighters to purchase and maintain. Second reason, its sale is not constrained by big power politics, in that it is not likely to be used as a tool for exercising leverage over the purchaser's foreign or defense policies. Pakistani forces participated in a joint exercise called, Gulf Shield, in 2018. JF-17 of Pakistan Air Force participated in a month-long exercise Gulf Shield 1 aimed at strengthening military and security cooperation and coordination among the regional countries. 23 countries take part in Gulf Shield 1 military drills. Pakistan the leading contributor to joint Gulf Shield 1, both in terms of personnel and assets. It gave Egyptian Air Force an opportunity to evaluate JF-17. Egypt already operates 120 Sino-Pakistani Hongdu K-8 jet trainer aircraft, the majority of which were built in Egypt by the Arab Organization for Industrialization. A similar deal for the construction of the JF-17 has been speculated. Induction and full operational capability of the JF-17 in the Pakistan Air Force makes it a great sales pitch for export to Egypt. In March 2019, it was reported that Egypt had reached an initial agreement with Russia for the sale of over 20 Su-35 air superiority fighters in a deal valued at about $2 billion. Despite having opted for French and Russian fighter aircraft, Egypt has reportedly expressed an interest in the Sino-Pakistan JF-17 Thunder. The interest comes as part of a wider push to increase defense industry cooperation between the Pakistan and Egypt. JF-17 has a key advantage over other fighter aircraft the Egyptians may be able to acquire. The Egyptians have many sources for combat aircraft, but none of those being considered for provision of advanced fighters manufacture anything like the JF-17. The Rafale and MiG-35 are larger twin-engine fighters in comparison to the JF-17, and unlike the latter are off-the-shelf purchases, with no local production offered for Egypt. The PAC JF-17 Thunder is a lightweight, single-engine, multi-role combat aircraft developed jointly by the Pakistan Aeronautical Complex and the Chengdu Aircraft Corporation of China. JF-17 can be used for multiple roles, including interception, ground attack, anti-ship, and aerial reconnaissance. JF-17 is an evolution that started from Project Sabre 2 or Project Super 7, Technically both projects were meant to upgrade the Chinese J-7 Taylor to meet PAF's requirements but when we see the evolved JF-17 of today it is way more sophisticated and advanced to the latter. The foundational work of modern JF-17 started in the late 1990s. The airframe design was freeze in 2001 due to lack of R&D funds however the first prototype took to air in 2003. A total of six prototypes were made after production started. As of 2020 PAF has 120 plus operational units in service. There are two blocks Block 1 and Block 2, and the work on Block 3 is in progress which is near to its completion. Block 2 also has a dual seat variant. 
JF-17 Block 3 will be introduced with more advanced weapon systems including PL-1-15 long-range BBR missiles. Myanmar is first export customer of JF-17 but is not the only state that showed interest in Pakistani JF-17. Malaysia, Indonesia, Azerbaijan, Zimbabwe, Bangladesh, Brazil, Saudi Arabia, Lebanon, Argentina, Morocco, Nigeria, Indonesia, Algeria and Sudan also want to buy them. Developed jointly by Pakistan and China, the JF-17 meets all modern requirements and is able to form the basis of a modern and powerful air force. JF-17 Block 2 Thunders are equipped with KLJ-7A, radar and Block 3 will be equipped with active electronic synthetic array AESA radars. The first chief project director of JF-17 former Air Marshal retired Shahid Latif once mentioned that JF-17 have the capability to be upgraded 4.5 generation jets. JF-17's Block 2 are as capable as Rafale, F-16, Saab JAS-39 Gripen or Su-30. The JF-17 aircraft had been produced as an affordable and modern replacement to French-made Mirage 3 and F-7 interceptors. Pakistan had long been trying to find countries to buy the JF-17 in order to reduce the per-unit cost the Pakistan Air Force pays. The lightweight, single-engine, multi-role combat jet, jointly developed by Pakistan Aeronautical Complex and China's Chengdu Aircraft Corporation, sells at an attractive price point, with a unit cost of just around $15 million to $25 million. The JF-17 were originally designed to be cost-effective multi-role fighters. This allowed PAF to induct a common airframe for different missions, easier for logistics and training. With JF-17B Twin Seat, the package is complete. JF-17 is not a fifth-gen aircraft to challenge F-35. However, it is ideal replacement for all type of aircraft of third-gen types. It has very impressive weapon package to go with it and able to cater for any type of mission. The JF-17 can deploy diverse ordnance, including air-to-air -air and air-to-surface missiles, and a 23mm GSH-23-2 twin-barrel autocannon. Powered by Klimov Road 93 afterburning turbofan, it has a top speed of Mach 1.6. The JF-17 is to become the backbone of the Pakistan Air Force PAF, complementing the General Dynamics F-16 Fighting Falcon at half the cost. The PAF inducted its first JF-17 squadron in February 2010. In 2015 Pakistan produced 16 JF-17s. As of 2016, Pakistan is believed to have the capacity to produce 25 JF-17 per year. 58% of the airframe is Pakistani and 42% Chinese-Russian origin. As of December 2020 Pakistan Aeronautical Complex has manufactured 70 jets in the country for use by the Pakistan Air Force of the Block 1 type, 50 jets of the Block 2 type and 20 jets of the Block 3 dual-seater B version. In February 2019 the battle-hardened JF-17 of Pakistan Air Force shot down two Indian planes. JF-17 played a vital role during this mission. JF-17 Strike Force of PAF which targeted six different points inside Indian-occupied Kashmir. It displayed an excellent stand of range and jamming capabilities. After PAF's retaliatory strikes to punish Indian misadventures, JF-17 served on the front line on combat air patrol missions. Pakistan Air Force managed to destroy a MiG-21 Bison in aerial combat, capturing Indian Air Force pilot in Hanandan Berthaman, who was handed over to India on March 1, 2019. Another Indian front line, co-called Best Jet the Su-30 MKIs was also shot down by Pakistani JF-17. PAF JF-17 is a front line, reliable and lethal assets since its induction in 2010. The Pakistan Air Force already inducted twin-seater version known as the JF-17B for both enhanced operational capability and training. Preparations for a more advanced and technologically sophisticated Block 3 version of the aircraft are underway and the AESA radar, KJ-7A, has been developed which can track 15 targets and engage four targets simultaneously. JF-17 Block 3 will be a single-seat variant. 
It will feature further avionics advancements such as helmet-mounted display and sight HMDS system, a new single-panel multifunctional display MFD, an active electronically scanned array AESA radar paired with an infrared search and track IRST system, and a cockpit with a flight control stick on the side, an NRIE TKLJ 7A AESA radar, more use of composites, a new engine, and a two-seater cockpit option, with a top speed of 2.0 plus Mach. Pakistani Air Force officials have described it as a fourth generation plus fighter jet. According to unconfirmed media reports, the induction is expected to start around 2021. Serial production of the JF-17 Block 3 began at the end of 2020. This version has, among other things, an air refueling system and a perfect radar. In particular, the Block 3 modification is equipped with an active electronically scanned array radar system, which gives the aircraft the ability to detect targets at long range, including against the background of the Earth. In addition to the radar, the aircraft is equipped with several color displays in the cockpit and a helmet-mounted sight, which greatly facilitates piloting and air combat. The AESA radar system, with an active phased array antenna, is the KLJ-7A manufactured by the China Electronics Technology Group Corporation CETGC. The CETGC claims the KLJ-7A has similar characteristics to the radar used in the American 5th generation F-35 fighters. In particular, with the help of the new radar, the JF-17 will be able to detect targets at a distance of up to 170 kilometers and will have a combat advantage over the F-16C D and F-15C D base versions not equipped with the FAR radars. Tracking 15 air targets simultaneously and simultaneously, capturing four targets puts the JF-17 Block 3 higher in capabilities than the Russian Su-30 MKI, Su-35S, MiG-35 as well as the French Rafale. The aircraft has high maneuverability, has a modern new generation engine with increased thrust, carries almost four tons of combat load. It can carry short and medium range air-to-air -air missiles, bombs, anti-ship and anti-radar missiles, and outboard fuel tanks. There is a built-in 23mm double-barreled cannon. JF-17 Thunder can provide BVR capability. Moreover, JF-17 Thunder is a complete package, multirole fighter jet which can carry following armaments. JF-17 Thunder is a complete package for any air force. Air-to-air -air configuration. PL-15 VLRB VRM will be integrated with Block 3, effective range equals 200 to 250 km. PL-12 SD-10 VRM, effective range equals 100 plus km. PL-10W VRM will be integrated with Block 3. PL-5EIIW VRM. Air-to-ground configuration. Various unguided bombs. Guided bombs including LGBs, PGBs and standoff weapons. Anti-radiation missiles LD-10 and MAR-1. Anti-ship configuration. C-802AK. CM-400AKG. Moreover, JF-17 Thunder comes with state-of-the-art KLJ-7B2 radar, TIL Block 2, and KLJ-7A AESA radar for Block 3. Thunder can also carry various types of targeting, reconnaissance as well as jamming pods. Various countries including Malaysia, Algeria, Ukraine, Azerbaijan, Bulgaria, Bangladesh, Iraq, Saudi Arabia, Brazil, Lebanon, Argentina, Morocco, Qatar, Turkey, Kuwait, Albania, Sudan, Jordan, Peru, Venezuela, Iran, Indonesia, South Africa and Uruguay have shown interest in the JF-17 Block 3. Thank you for watching the Daily Thunders, latest news about JF-17. If you want you can subscribe and like the video. For feedback please leave your comments. For more videos about JF-17 Thunder please click the bell icon. Appreciate your support, stay safe and keep watching the Daily Thunders.